Hello, this is uh, Carnivores Plants Experts, um, and today we are going to be showing you um, some carnivores plants that me and my buddy grow. Um, he's not here right now, but yeah, so what I have is a King Henry Venus flytrap, a Dente Venus flytrap, a uh, pitcher plant purpurea. Uh, pitcher plant white top, um, Capentus red cape sandu, and a Judith Hindle. Okay, let's start out with uh, one of my biggest. Well, there's two in here, but here are my Saracenia white top. I guess you could say, and then. Here's my uh, Saracenia purpurea. It's growing a flower stalk right now. And I did cut off a lot of the pictures on this one because I just didn't want, I just didn't like how they looked. Um, so, yes. Um, these are very good bug catchers. Uh, these collect a lot of rainwater. And, yeah. So. And the mixture I use with all my carnivores plants are one part speck from peat moss and one part perlite. And this is a King Henry Venus flytrap that I have been growing from seed. It's doing pretty good. Here is my Dente Venus flytrap that I got from cobraplants.com. They're very, very amazing. I do recommend them for everybody because their shipping is great and they never have dead plants when they arrive. And here is a King Henry Venus flytrap also um, that I bought from cobraplants.com. Okay. And all the soil mixture I use is one part speck from peat moss and one part perlite. And I do water them with distilled and rain water if I collect rain water. But yes, um, I've all had these for one year. Here's my Capentus Red Cape Sundew, tropical plant. Very, very dewy right now. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but. And here's my Capentus Red Cape Sundew, also that I did get from CobraPlants.com. And I also did get the co this from CobraPlants.com. But I didn't get any of my pictures from CobraPlants.com. And here is my Judith Hindle picture plant that has very tall pictures and a few leaves. And the reason they grow leaves, uh, because they're, they're not carnivorous the leaves, but they resume as photosynthesis. And yes, um, so those are all my carnivorous plants. Um, my other partner that I, my, my, like, my best friend, me and him grow carnivorous plants. Like I said, he's not here right now. He'll probably be in the other videos, but yes, he does grow. Uh, he has a Dente Venus flytrap. He has a Capentus white leaf cape sundew. And he also has a, um, I forgot the name, I'm trying to think of it. Um, he has... I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of it. Um, he also has, yes, a pygmy sundew. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I remember. Um, so, yeah, a lot. These are very good bug catchers, too. Um, so, basic care. The, these are tropical plants of sundews. The one that I have right in front of me. These are tropical, which means they do not need winter dormant. And like the other North American plants, the pitcher plant, the fly traps, and uh, yeah. But I don't have any butterworts. I am planning to get some butterworts. I'm planning to order them from Saracenia Northwest, also known as CobraPlants.com, once they have them in stock again. Um, but yes, you should. You guys should probably uh, visit their YouTube channel. It's co it's Saracenia Northwest. They got a uh, monthly care guide podcast video thingies. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with my carnivorous plants. And 
I plan to germinate um, and, and sell these North American pitcher plant seeds, the flower stock right there. Uh, the flower stock is not very high though, I'd say it's about hmm, 5 inches tall, but yeah. Uh, you should see the cephalotus, that thing grows like 4 feet, the flower stock, oh my god. But I don't have any Nepenthes, I just have all these carnivorous plants and that's it. I also have a lot more plants down there, I have a like big collection of, carn of not carnivorous plants, but plants I have a sensitive plant, a moon cactus, another cactus, an aloe plant. I also have um I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, lucky bamboo. I grow lots of vegetables. And yes, if you can grow a vegetable plant, then you can definitely grow all of these carnivorous plants. I just set them on the table in my backyard and they get full sun and that seems to be doing perfectly good for them but I got all these plants this year and I've never had um, I keep trying to have to be successful on winter dormancy and I keep researching about that so I'm pretty confident about winter dormancy this year so um, if you guys have any questions comment below and please comment rate and subscribe and if you guys have any tips or anything I missed make sure to just comment below um my next video will probably be on snails and my greenhouse i keep them in and the table and proper care for carnivorous plants and other plants okay so all right um to wrap it up i just like to say this is our first video thank you for watching this if you are and yes, um, goodbye.